You know, before I came to Hong Kong, I, I only saw Hong Kong pictures of skyscrapers and big buildings and people rushing around. When I was introduced to the country park, which was shortly after I arrived here, I thought, this is amazing. How can this be so close to the city? It didn't seem real to me. But maybe just 40 minutes, you can be in a completely different atmosphere. And you can walk for miles and miles in the hills with trees, with little rivers coming down. And I think there was a big change in attitude after the outbreak of SARS, when people started to get very worried about what was happening in the atmosphere, whether they would catch the disease. And you saw from that time, many, many more people started to come to the countryside. So, I mean, here you have the opportunity not only to interact with dogs, but you see birds. I mean, there's more birds here than there are in the whole of China. There's, you know, in, in the, if you walk in the rivers, you can see fishes sometimes. It's, you know, rather than just seeing them in a shop when they're dead, it's very important. It gets people much closer to, to the natural environment, and I think it's a big education. One of the saddest things about the Country Park area is that the people who were originally from this area now, not all of them, but a lot of them, are much more interested in how much money they can get out of the countryside rather than in preserving the countryside. But it's a very, very high price to pay for property development if you destroy the natural environment. One of the easiest ways to protect the countryside is to bring more people to see it. Once they've been here, I think only really foolish people wouldn't say, we have to protect this.